everyone. This is Sunit. Or shall I more say, hi ladies, this is Sunit. And in this video, we're having a look at continuing with relationships as our Achilles heel. All right, so in this in video, we're going to be having a look at the positive energy. You know, the good feelings that you have when you finally... Hmm, Shall I be specific with my words in saying when you finally think that you have found a potential partner? Mm, so why would I say that when you think you have found the potential partner? Us ladies know one thing. We, when, or most of us ladies know one thing. When there is that one man that gives you that bit of attention or shows that little bit of interest, wow. We are like this fountain that opens up inside of us, a fountain of just these feelings and these experiences that, you know, we haven't had for maybe quite some time. Now, it is those very feelings, those very experiences that you're having that could cause a veil to manifest around your eyes because it's like, Oh, you know that those positive feeling, those good feelings can just overwhelm yourself and your body to, to such an extent that, you know, it becomes the one and most important thing for you. And it's like there's just this pull, you know, towards this man and you want to do everything and anything in your power to keep him, to have him be a part of you, a, a part of your life. And within that drive and that pull, within the starting point of those feelings and those experiences, everything else in your world or in your life can start um, fading away ever so slightly. And this might be something many women would be able to relate to. You know, when that one man comes into your life, gives you that little bit of attention, gives you or shows an indication of interest, all right, where these feelings and experiences just take over so completely that that one man becomes your first and foremost priority. And then the time or attention that you've spent with family, with friends, with work, with, you know, everyday life things kind of takes a back seat. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at why and how that happens and how to assist and support yourself to, from the beginning, all right, have a balance within your life where you don't accept and allow your feelings and your experiences that you have to take control to such an extent that it creates an absolute imbalance within yourself and your life and in relation to the person as, you know, the man, the prospective relationship. Why is that important? I mean, look, if we have a look at most women, all right, within this world, most women, and if you look at yourself as well, let's say that you take a stroll down memory lane and you have a look at your life as how it was before. Here was you, all right, and I mean, you had your job, you had family, you had friends, you had activities, you know, everything kind of surrounding you in relation to what you've always participated in and who you've always spent time with. Now, what is interesting within this is that you knew exactly who you were in relation to friends, family, and, you know, whatever other activities that you participated in. What do I mean by that? By that I mean you knew exactly how you felt or how you experienced yourself in relation to your friends and your family and your activities. You know, there was never so much something new that you felt or experienced. So this every single day, day in and day out was kind of the same routine, you know, inside yourself and everything and everyone else in your life. But now, suddenly, here comes a man into your life, okay? And obviously within that, and we'll continue with this in more detail in videos to come, but you may have for quite some time inside your mind 
um, visualized and fantasized and had all these positive feelings and sensations in relation to how it would be like if you were to have a man in your life. Okay, so this was kind of in the background in your mind. And then one day this man appears, all right, giving you that little bit of attention and that little bit of um, like interest, all right, and what happens in that moment it's like everything that you have fantasized or imagined in your mind in relation to a prospective partner or having a relationship like comes out from inside of you, okay? And with that, inside your body and your mind, you in the present, right, have all the positive energies, all the positive feelings of what you've imagined in your mind and now it here becoming a reality, all right? So, I mean, you know, for women to just understand, you know, why it is that we do tend to go into making the man the priority in our lives and let all our other relationships and activities and responsibilities take the back seat. All right. So here, oftentimes what also happens is this, these feelings and these experiences um, to a certain extent or degree, make you become someone you almost don't recognize, right? Where it's like you almost just want to grab him and hold him and keep him as close to you as possible, you know, because at the same time, there's like this, mm, shall I say, gratitude from a certain perspective of, I finally found someone who, to a certain extent or degree, matches my fantasies, my imaginations, my wishes and dreams for a relationship. So within that, um, you know, that fear comes up of, you know, possibly or in probably in any way whatsoever losing this connection with this person or, you know, you having asking the universe or existence for just someone to be a part of your life. So now, this also leads to consequences and this is what many women will be able to relate to as well you know where you have the consequences of this positive energy all those good feelings all those good experiences taking over to such an extent that you almost come across as too clingy um too you know in their space almost in their face the whole time it's like you're now coming not only with you to them you are coming with all of these feelings and these experiences, all this energy, right? So for a guy, all right, and this is something that most women also do not necessarily understand. Men are naturally more grounded, more stable. Um, their emotional and feeling body is more suppressed. So women, on the other hand, most women, are, are very physically expressive, you know, when it comes to our emotions and our feelings. So now, here's a woman coming with even more of a feeling energy, a feeling presence, you know, kind of coming at, we're like coming at the men with all this energy, like almost this energy cloud surrounding us. And the man is kind of going, um, um, okay, <laughs> you know, men, as I've said, are a lot more grounded, more stable. So if women tend to come at them with a lot of energy, their natural tendency will be to want to back off. And I mean, most men might not even understand why, but this is more, you know, what kind of happens on, you know, deeper levels of our awareness. So now what happens is the woman, okay, goes into all of these energies, these experiences, these feelings, everything is positive and everything is good. And then you allow the man to take over you and everything that you're feeling and experiencing towards him because it's all new and it's all great and it's all fantastic. While most men, on the other hand, they're, interestingly enough, um, a dimension in most men is that they're, they're quite grounded, within being grounded and stable, is that they can keep all the priorities and relationships and things that they need to get to and to do in their lives 
quite equal, all right? So, you know, men will try and keep their world as balanced as possible. And it's interesting because in how me most men approach themselves and their lives, this is something us women can learn from, right? Because, again, focusing on the context where, you know, some of us women tend to make the man the one and the only main priority in our lives. And then within that, we fuel an exceptional amount of energy into that. And then everything else fades away. And this can create like a friction within the relationship between the man and the woman. All right. So with understanding this, the practical application for this video is to assist and support yourself to see if you can have a look in your memories of when you as a woman had done and created this imbalance inside yourself in relation to men coming into your life where you made the man the one, the only, the main priority. And you kind of came at him with a lot of energy, you know, a lot of feelings and experiences and, you know, where it took over completely and you compromised everything else in your life for that one person. And mostly it often led to the man moving away or taking a step back or distancing himself, all right? So for this video, just to become aware of where this has happened to you and understanding why, so that in the next video, we can have a look at how can you support yourself to maintain a balance in your life when a man comes into your world, all right? And I mean, we're not saying that all those feelings and experiences are bad. No, not at all. I'm going to show you how you can allow yourself to experience that but not to the extent where it takes over, all right, and everything else and everything else fades away. All right, thank you very much.